it's Lizina from Tech Ventures, and today I'm at Embedded World. I'm standing right outside the Panasonic booth, right over there. Uh, let's go take a look and see what they've got. Hey, okay, so what's this one about people tracking? Ah, yes, yes. This is uh, an, our demo for people tracking uh, based on the our newly introduced uh, grid eye sensor with the 90 degrees lens. 90 degrees lens. What does yes. that mean? Yes, so this means that the field of view is uh, broader than our uh, previously introduced 60 degrees lens. So a wider area can be now seen with the, with the grid eye sensor. So if I put my hand yes. over here, yes. oh, yeah, I see. You can see it, yeah, yeah. I mean, we put also a camera next to it. So in the end, the machine learning system can track people there and then also uh, identify it as a, as a heating source. Mm -hmm. And then in the end, when the, when the machine learning system is, uh, is trained enough, then you can also take away the camera stream away and then only have the heat map here. So also that, that the system doesn't, I don't know, recognize faces anymore. Also, you're actually reduced only to a heat source yeah, in the end. Yeah, that's it, a yeah. hot mass. This is correct, this is correct. Yeah. And this is all, 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 everything here that you see is um is processed by our pan 9520 which is based on the espressive module so a okay. ruggedized uh, module based on the espressive so the way uh, it's working is the sensor is taking the the is checking us out checking yeah. out our body maps yeah heat maps yeah and then it communicates that with the wi-fi module mm -hmm. and then using and then using a wi-fi hotspot it transmits it to a web server yeah uh, the web server is actually running on the pan 9520 itself oh yes amazing. so this is why we are actually looking at the browser yeah. and the laptop here is connected uh, to the pan 9520 as an access point and the camera stream is running on the web server itself on the pan 9520 so this can also then be used in in in, um, in applications where access point is needed and then you can just uh, connect it with your smartphone or any device that uh, that, that supports Wi-Fi. That's really amazing. What yes. kind of applications do you think are best for this? Yeah, uh, actually, for, when we're looking just for, for a 9520 itself, then I would uh, definitely say smart factories. So where, where harsh environments are, um, where, where the module is uh, exposed to harsh environments, or like polluted air or, or higher temperature, this is where our pen, pen 9520 is comes in. Is the temperature rating from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 8? 85, 85 yes yes the industrial range is is completely covered also with also with our yeah um high quality uh, oscillator that we have uh, implemented in there so the whole industrial range is is specified and can go up to 85 degrees without any problems so wow. this secures a longer lifetime so when is this new grid eye going to be available is the panasonic 9520 available Yes, the Pan F20 is, is already available. The grid at 90 degrees uh, will be launched um, in a few weeks, I think. And this whole shield can also be then, or let's say this whole uh, system with the camera, with the grid sensor can also be then uh, yeah, sourced uh, as an own part number also in a few weeks. If you have any questions about Panasonic connectivity solutions or sensors, please feel free to reach out to your local Future Electronics representative or visit us online at futureelectronics.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Tech Ventures with Luzina.